Now before we just end this section, let's know a few more things. Let's start up with bias variance trade-off. We already know what is bias. We already know what is variance. Now we should be knowing that there is a trade-off between both of them depending upon the model complexity. We have seen what kind of problem we can face when there is high bias. We can. Uh, we have also seen that what kind of problems we can face when we have high variance. Let's look into the trade-off of this. If the algorithm is too simple, that is, uh, let's take an uh, example of hypothesis with a linear example, then it may be on high bias and low variance condition. And thus is it is very much error prone. So if algorithm fit too complex, that is hypothesis with higher degree example, then it may be on the higher variance scale, that is on the right hand side. This is the higher variance scale and this is the low variance scale. So it uh, lies on the high variance and low bias. In the later condition, the new entries will not perform well. Well, there is something between both of these conditions. Well, and that is known as the trade-off between uh, both of them. So this trade-off in complexity is why there is a trade-off between bias and variance. An algorithm can't be more complex and less complex at the same time. So if you can just see out this graph, we need something which lies between this. So what happens is if you try to in, uh, decrease variance, okay, so the bias increases. Okay, so the bias increases. So if you try to decrease variance, the bias increases. The same thing if you try to uh, decrease the bias, variance increases so there's a trade-off between two so we need a point which lies just between the uh, center okay which is the optimum model complexity so according to this this is this center point is where we need so this is having the just the right variance and just the right bias so let's take an example so let's say we have a problem uh, where we need to have a polynomial regression. We are plotting a polynomial regression and over there we have a parameter that is degree. Okay, with the increment of degree the complexity also increases. So let's say this is our training example. This, this is our training set. Okay, and here are the points. And let's take one by one. So uh, let's state with d equals to one. So with degree one, we might be having a line that is something like this straight line. Let's take a very straight line. A straight line. Let's take uh, d equals to two. Also d equals to two, we might have something like this now let's check for d equals to 3 for d equals to 3 we might have a uh, quite a perfect line okay so this is for d equals to 3 okay the dark blue is for d equals to 2 and the straight line is for d equals to 1 now same thing let's check for uh, d equals to 4 so for d equals to 4, we get something like this. Okay, so the green line is d equals to 4. And for d equals to 5, d equals to 5, we get a model like this. Okay. Uh, so I'm writing d equals to 4 for the dark green color over there, d equals to 5. Okay, uh, so you can see that uh, what we have for d equals to 5, it is going through all the points and this is actually known as a high variance problem. So over here we have high variance and the very low bias. And for d equals to 1, you can see that there is high bias, very much high bias. Okay, now if you uh, plot out a graph for this, the, um, depending upon the complexity for all of these, 
so we will be having something like this so as the complexity increases the graph will be quite similar to this so this increases okay this thing and this might be the error rate for this so here is lambda equals to one and here lambda equals to five okay and the other stuff will be quite similar to this let's take a different color for this okay green one is for bias okay so this is bias this is variance as you can see that for lambda equals to one uh, the variance is very low the variance is very low for uh, so you can also tell this as increment of the degree degree of complexity okay so for lambda equals to one so we have uh, the bias is very high but the variance okay so very low variance over here and as the well degree increases we have seen that the bias increase uh, the variance increases and the bias reduces with time so in the middle we should be having a point okay that is the optimal point and this should be our d equals to three okay that is lambda value equals to three there might be lambda equals to 2, there might be lambda equals to 4. Okay, so we need the value of lambda is equal to 3. That is what we have known by trade off, and we need the optimal value that should uh, be just in between, just should be having the right uh, bias and the right variance. Again, you should always remember that the total error, total error is bias square plus variance plus the error rate this is ir uh, irreducible you can always reduce this now in our next video we are going to know about overfitting and underfitting and we are going to look into uh, problems uh, how to reduce a high bias problem and how to reduce high variance problem so let's jump into our next video